Hey everybody, I'm here with Martin Schmidt from Germany, who is writer of the Surf Guitar book. How are you, Martin? I'm good. Um, I saw um, many of your videos on YouTube, and you're you're in your band, and you're an, you're an amazing guitar player. What inspired you to write a book specifically about surf music? Um, I've been a guitar teacher for the last 30 years. That's how I make my living partially. And when I got into surf music, I couldn't find any material to practice it. So right away, I had the idea to write a book about it, which was like 20 years ago. <laughs> and I never found the time to do it until yeah, a few years ago. So that was the basic idea. And I tried to explain the style in yeah, all its details the playing techniques, the chord progressions, and all the other stuff that makes surf music so beautiful. And, and uh, what what are what are some of the things that made you want to write the, write the book like that are beautiful about surf music? You obviously have a passion for it, um, but when you say there was nothing available, these are for established guitar players who are looking to play surf music, correct? Yes. I mean, I really like the power of surf music. So I like the Dick Dale style with the double picking and this high energy thing. But on the other side, I also like the, the beauty that's in the style because the re reverb sound is very, very big and you can play very long notes without sounding yeah, thin or boring. So it can play nice chords and very nice melodies. Yeah, and that's what attracts me to the style. And when did you start writing the book? I think I really started in 2019. But I had some uh, surf clinics that I did before where I te taught surf music to some people. So I prepared little sheets with a bit of the material. And I also tapped out a few of the songs that I used in the book. So I didn't start from scratch. I had some, yeah, okay. some stuff already done. When, when you say uh, you're a guitar teacher, do you teach primarily surf guitar? No, I teach guitar. Hmm. Most of the time I teach G, E minor, A minor, C. <laughs> because as a guitar teacher, most of the time your students are beginners or people who can play a little but not very well. So you start with the basics and then move on to songs they like. Some of them like surf music or get interested because I play it, but most of the time I teach rock songs or yeah, German folk songs, whatever the people want. <laughs> Where can uh, people find the Surf Guitar Book? They can find it on the internet at surfguitarbook.com. It's also available through Amazon and Double Crown Records and the German musical supplier Thoman. And what, what what sort of response have you had? The response was very good. I did a crowdfunding when the book was finished. And I think I've put out the video to announce the book. And after two days, I had like 50 pre-orders. So that was amazing. And until this point, I sold nearly 1,000 books. Wow. That's, That's pretty awesome. cool. So, so tell me a little bit about the surf band you're playing in. The band is called the Razor Blades, and it started in 2002. Wow. So quite a while. In the beginning, it was my brother and some guys from his yeah, heavy metal band. So we wanted to do something together, and the only thing we could agree on was surf music. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, the band... Uh, turned also out very well from the beginning. We started rehearsing. We had a lot of songs written, did a record, and then immediately there was some interested interest from promoters and little venues to make gigs with us. So that's when we started. And after a while, the lineup of the band changed a few times, but we kept on going and in the last 15 years, we played 50, 60, 70 shows per year. Wow. All over Europe. We've been to the USA and the UK. So we've been busy. 
That's awesome. Um, so do you, how many records did you put out in that amount of time? We have like, I think, seven studio records. And then we have one record with cover versions, which was like a 15th anniversary record. And we also did a Christmas record two years ago where we play yeah, German, American and English Christmas songs in the surf style. Oh, nice. So it makes, let's count together, it makes about 10 records. Okay. Okay. Um, so what what is next for you? I mean, you, you really have a quite a tight schedule. Are you, are you planning on playing this year? Uh, maybe traveling to Livorno to play? I don't know. I will travel to Livorno, but I'm not playing. I will be there <laughs> as a tourist and watch the other bands. But we have a tour coming up in June where we play in Germany. And then from September till early December, we play in Germany, the UK, maybe Belgium. Awesome. Awesome. I see you have a, a, a tank right behind your head. Right behind my head? That's an M. That's okay. the tank is below. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about that amp that's right behind you. It looks beautiful. Which color one? The red uh, one, the black one, or the fender one? <laughs> the one to the the left of the, the marshal. This one. Yeah. Okay, that's a, a a custom amp from the tube amp doctor, which is a Germany German company that I work for. I do videos and workshops for them. Um, usually they are a supplier of tubes, but they also have like amp kits that you can solder together yourself. And they're modeled after old Fender and Marshall amps. So this one is like a tweet. Uh, what is it? Is it a tweet? I think a tweet deluxe. Yeah, that's a tweet deluxe. So it's basically like the Neil Young amp that he uses. But it's a new amp and very re reliable and cheaper than the old ones, which cost like 10000 or more now. Yeah, yeah. So I noticed two fenders there. Well, more than two fenders. Looks like you got four. Um, what is your, your preferred amp of choice when you're playing surf music? Um, for a long time, I always played a, an old basement that you can see on top of the black Marshall style amp, like a 40 watt Fender head from the 60s. I have three of that, of that model. One is, yeah, the backup for the live shows. Another one I use only for recording. But I also like uh, to use some Marshall style amps for the tougher sounding surf songs because Marshall always has the image of being a hard rock, heavy metal amp. But if you have a 100 watt amp and don't turn it up to 10, but stay on three or so, you have a lot of headroom and a very nice punch in the midst. So that gets you a very good Dick Dale style sound. So I use the red one a lot for recording. Awesome. Awesome. So what, what's next for you? You have the book out, you're, you're giving lessons, you're going out and playing on a mini tour. Um, are you planning on writing new songs? Yeah, songwriting is something I do all the time. I mean, when I have time, I sit down in my little studio, play around, and then I come up with songs, and then I record sketches on my computer, and after a while, I have a collection of, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 songs. And then we do a new record. I'm also working on uh, volume two of the Surf Guitar book. Oh. I think I did maybe half of the songs that should be in it. And I have a concept, but I need to, yeah, really get down to it and finish the all the explaining things. Would this be a little bit more advanced than the previous book? I mean, I don't, I won't explain uh, the basic techniques again because they're in the first book. So I will concentrate on songs. So there will probably be more songs that you can play and learn. And also I try to get into the songwriting arranging thing a bit more. Okay. How you turn a, a melody of a 
popular song into a surf style instrumental. Yeah, and how you can write a song, different techniques, how to turn one idea into a proper song, something like that. Very cool. Very cool. Well, for everybody watching, uh, to get the surf guitar book, the link is in the description, surfguitar.com. And there it is. And he's working on part, working on part two. Yes. And, uh, he's He's gotten a lot of great responses for it. Martin, thank you so much for, for being on the show. Uh, I was very happy you took time out of your busy schedule to, uh, to, to talk to us. Okay. Thank you for the invitation.